Ultra Video Powder T. Oi. Micro Slop, Micro Crap, Microsoft, however you refer to them, <laughs> released another update recently. Windows 10 update version 1607 build 14393447 and 14393448, part of KB320970. The only distinction between these two builds, 447 and 448, is 448 is for mobile. Now this was released about a week ago. Update resolves 10 security vulnerabilities for not just Windows 10 but also Windows Server 2016, 32-bit and 64-bit versions of their operating system, Internet Explorer Cumulative Security Update, Boot Manager Security Update, Microsoft Virtual Hard Drive Security Update, Windows Authentication Method Security Update, Kernel Mode Driver Security Update, Common Log File Systems Driver Update, Microsoft Graphics Component Update, Video Control Security Update, Windows Security Update, Edge Cumulative Security Update. No changes, no additions to their operating system. Just some security vulnerabilities and some improvements, if that could be an oxymoron, but moving on. Now, this is a cumulative update, hence that word cumulative. If you have been skipping updates or you haven't been updating your Windows 10 version, then if you download it and install this one, it will go ahead and download and install all previous updates for you that are missing on your computer. If you've been keeping up to date, pun intended, with Windows 10, then it will only install those updates that are new. Now, there's a distinction in the file size, 467 megabytes, that's for their 32-bit version, also known as x86, 871 megabyte download for their 64-bit operating system, also known as x64. And that's if the, the first time you installed Windows 10. So let's say you are performing a fresh install of Windows 10, that's how large these individual updates will be. So they're quite large, but they're about double the size if you're using 64-bit. Moving on. Two ways to obtain Microsoft Windows 10 and Server 2016 updates. That's through the built-in Microsoft Windows Update or the Microsoft Update Catalog website. You have to reboot your computer for those updates to take effect. And then, like I stipulated at the beginning, two builds for this KB 320 0970 14393 447 and 14393 448 this last one is for mobile that's the only basically the only distinction and then I didn't include it in my blog post because you know what I'm saying and society doesn't like plagiarism I don't I'm not a big fan of copyright but that's another video I'm not really my political ideology is far far away from most Americans but that's a different discussion I'm not a big fan of copyright but plagiarizing so basically when I write my blogs I have to rewrite them you know what I'm saying but I decide to link to it and we can check out these two right here it has quite a bit of additional information if you're interested now basically the only distinction here for 14393 448 is it's for mobile and then here's the information for the 447 build so quite a few they call them improvements but that could be an oxymoron later down the road they may have caused further problems but back up your data here's a possible tip or recommendation is you should probably always back up your data whenever you go ahead and, and install Microsoft's secure their updates because you just never know especially with Windows 10 oh I forgot to mention Microsoft Edge does not work on my here I can try it again it has not worked for like the last two months it just doesn't work it opens up and I see the the logo but then it just disappears I'm not going to read all of these because they're quite lengthy, but you can see them on screen and then you can access them via my blog post and I will include 
a link to my blog post at my website anetcomputers.com so that you can peruse this information on your own accord and I, hopefully it's productive for you. But as you can see there's quite a few issues addressed. There's more specifics. Multimedia, VPN, Task Scheduler, APN, Method Editor, Wi-Fi Connection, no, oh, no Wi-Fi connection in the system tray, etc. Adios.